Good day. In this video, we're going to show you how to work out the equation of these three exponential graphs. I advise you to go and look at the video that says exponential graphs, sketch one, math though, grade 11 and older. Make sure that you know, let's call it the mother formula that you should know for an exponential graph, which is written up here. You should know this in the back of your mind, but for this video, we're going to provide you with a formula you have to work out every time. But they could give you a picture like this and just say work out the equation. Then you need to know this and work out the A, the B, the P and the Q with the information they gave you. Here's our first problem. They gave us this sketch. They gave us this formula. and They said work out the equation of this sketch. Another question they might ask, work out what the value of A, B and Q is. And another question they can just say work out the value of B. But for this video, we're going to say work out the equation of each sketch. On this sketch, they gave us the formula that we can work with. They gave us an x-intercept here, which is minus 1. So I immediately write it into a coordinate, minus 1 and 0. They gave us the y-intercept, which is minus 1. And you immediately write it into a, a coordinate, naught and minus 1. They gave us the asymptote and the equation of the asymptote y equals to minus 3. x-axis y-axis and the name of the sketch on the sketch. The first thing I do is I write down the equation with a y over here. Then I can substitute my y's and x's. It's the same formula, just with a y in front. Because they gave me the asymptote as y equals to minus 3, I immediately replace the q with a minus 3. Now I have a formula that is easier to work with. Then, like in all graphs, you, if you want the equations, you start substituting coordinates into this formula and then you do what you usually do if you want to find the equation of any function you take coordinates that is on your sketch and you plug it into this formula so i started by choosing the north and the minus one my y intercept i wrote it down and then i plugged it into this formula that i have so far so i took the minus one put it in the place of y took the north put it in the place of x and now my formula looks simpler. b to power 0 is 1. And if you plus 3 on both sides, you get a equals 2. This I then take back to here. We already pushed in the asymptote. The new equation will look like this. I'm just going to shift this up here now. Now my formula looks much simpler than in the beginning. Now I look for another coordinate on my function. I can see I've got another one, that x-intercept, which is minus 1 and 0. I copy it down, and then I substitute it in here in the place of y and x. Then my equation will look like this. I'm going to get the b alone, so I plus 3 on both sides. I've got 3 equals 2, and I make this negative exponent positive by taking it under the 2. Go and look at the video, negative exponents. Then because you have an equation with fractions, you times by the LCD, which is B, then you get 3B is 2. And to get the B alone, you divide by 3 on both sides. You answer B equals to 2 over 3. Then your final equation will look like this. But they asked us originally to write F of X. So we write F of X equals and this answer. The next function looks like this. And they asked us to work out the equation. They helped us by giving us the formula over there. They also gave us a coordinate on the graph, and they gave us the asymptote, and they told us the asymptote is going through 2 on the y-axis. The first thing you do is you write down the equation, and you substitute the asymptote in, in the place of q. So it'll be plus 2. Then, like I said, you look for coordinates on the graph, and you plug that into the formula now. We have the coordinate minus 1 and 2 and 1 ninth. We take that and substitute it into our formula, the 2 and 1 ninth in the place of y, and the minus 1 in the place of x, and we simplify for b. You simplify here, and you minus 2 on both sides to get the 2 away from here. Then you make this into a positive exponent, 1 over b squared. You use your calculator and you get 1 over 9 here. If you have 1 over 9 equals to 1 over b squared, it's an equation with fractions. You times by the LCD. The LCD is 9b squared. And if you times this by 9b squared, you get b squared equals 9. 
then you get rid of the square next to the b. You square root both sides. When you square root in equations, a plus minus 3 will come out. But remember, in exponents, we never work with a base that is negative. So we only use b is equal to plus 3. You take this b that you worked out and you substitute it back into the formula. Final answer, y equals to 3 to the power of x minus 1 plus 2. Stop the video and get your brain around this function's equation. Here's our next sketch. They ask us to work out the equation. They helped us up here. They said g of x equals to b to the power of x plus b plus q. They gave us coordinates on the sketch. They gave us the equation of the asymptote as y equals to minus 2. So we start with the equation they gave us. Rewrite it as y equals 2. Substitute the asymptote in immediately. They gave me y equals to minus 2. So in the place of q, I write minus 2. Then I choose any one of the coordinates they gave me. I started with the coordinate 1 and 2. I took the 1, replaced it in the place of x, and the 2 and replaced it in the place of y, and rewrote my formula. Then I plus 2 on both sides to simplify it further. And I number this formula 1. I still have two variables in it, and I can't simplify it further. Then I take another coordinate that I see on my sketch, and I substitute it also back into this formula. So I took 2 and 6, 2 in the place of x, 6 in the place of y. Kept my minus 2, my asymptote. Plus 2 on both sides. And I have another formula with two variables, but now I can do a simultaneous equation from here. Next we take our second formula, this one, and divide it by the first formula. So we write this over this. 8 divided by 4 gives you 2. And you know that if you divide and your bases are the same, you will minus your exponents. So we minus the exponents. Then we get the answer. B is equal to 2. 2 minus 1 is 1 and P minus P is nothing. So the value of B is then 2. This we now substitute back into either 1 or 2 to find the value of B. So I took this 2, substituted in the place of B, and got this equation now. Then you prime factorize 4, becomes 2 squared. Of course your bases are the same, you can drop your bases. So 2 equals 1 plus B, and 1 equals B. We get our answer, y is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1 minus 2. The final answer to this question, g of x equals 2 to the power of x plus 1 minus 2. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Just something extra that some of you would have seen is this graph also goes through the origin here. That means it goes through another coordinate, north and north. So you could have taken the north and north, substituted into this formula that we got with our asymptote at the back, Simplify it to get 2 equals to b to the power of p, a third equation we could have used. Then you could have used either 1 and 3 together, 2 and 3 together, it's your choice. Any one divided by the other one would have given you the value of b. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If you run into a problem finding the equation of an exponential function, you may send a clear WhatsApp picture of your problem to this number a clear WhatsApp picture of where you tried it. Then we'll try and help you and send back a solution as soon as possible. Enjoy exponential functions.